So in this video, I wanted to briefly talk about using Jetstream refills in your pilot pens. Kind of a niche subject, but I thought some people might appreciate it. Just to get everyone up to speed, we have pens like this. This is a Jetstream pen. It uses a hybrid or modern style ballpoint ink. And a lot of people really, really like the Jetstream ink. It's almost universally appreciated. That said, Jetstream pen bodies are uh, hit and miss. You know, this one from, this is the Sport. This is the entry level model. It, it, it's fine. And some of the higher end models into the Jetstream, the main Jetstream line and the Prime line, I would say they're, they're overall fine, but the ink is much better than the pen bodies. So what do you do if you wanna use Jetstream ink in a non non Jetstream or non Uniball pen? It ends up being a little bit of a challenge because the Jetstream refills are slightly non-standard. So you can see it is uh, similar in shape to a Pilot G2 style refill. It has this weird collar here that interrupts how it fits with some pens, but not all pens. But if you were to extend this collar up, it would be a pretty close match for a Pilot G2 uh, gel pen style. So it will fit in some Pilot G2 pens, but not all of them. Uh, and then this contour is a little bit different. Uh, so it ends up being a little bit of an issue if you wanna use your gesturing refill in a non uniball or non gesturing pen. People have found out over enough testing that one of the best ways to use your gesturing refills is in a few pilot pens. Uh, pilot pens, many of them use this little refill here. Uh, this is the refill from a Dr. Grip. It's called a BRFN-10. It has a plastic body. It's similar to a Parker G2, a Parker style or G2 refill in theory, but it's actually a good deal shorter. So they're not interchangeable. Uh, it'd be nice if you could use, you know, Parker style refills in your pilot pens, but it just replicating this refill with this body, it just doesn't work with this one's too long and you can't cut down the metal, so on and so forth. So, uh, what do you do if you want to get your Jetstream refill and put it in your Pilot? It turns out it's actually possible with some Pilot pens. This is a Pilot S20. This is far and away my favorite of the Pilot pens. It uses a, uh, this is called the BRFN30, which is the same refill as the BRFN10. It just has a metal body. Uh, this one, I can tell you right now, will not take a Jetstream refill because the body is extremely thin and this collar right here, it stops it from going in. So this, this hack or this mod, whatever you wanna call it, this won't work on every pilot pen. It's only gonna work on some pilot pens, which is, uh, I know that makes it a little bit annoying uh, because the whole point of this is so everyone doesn't have to go out and buy and test every pen, uh, but it is what it is. It also won't work, work, won't work on this Legno, which is a similar pilot pen, uses the same refill, and I thought maybe it was this front piece was a little bit wider. The gesture would work in there, but it also has that little brass sleeve in there, which is quite thin. So no go there either. The two pens I would recommend using are this one right here. This is the uh, Pilot Timeline. Uh, this one's specifically the Timeline Gel, but it's just the Timeline. There's also a pen called the Ageless, which is essentially the same thing. Uh, and this is this cool double knock pen. It has a twist to extend the front nose cone, twist again to extend the writing tip. It's, quite, it's a cool pen. It's a little bit expensive. Maybe, uh, I don't know, $25, $30 around there. Uh, but this is one of those pens that uses a slightly different refill. This is the BLGS-5. It's uh, kind of like a rollerball version of the BRFN. You can see they're both non-standard refills. They're both oddly short, but the good news is that they are interchangeable, uh, at, at least insofar as this mod goes. So what you could do is get your Jetstream refill, chop it down until it matches the length of your uh, BLGS, or obviously the same length as the BRFN, pop it in, and you're good to go. Now we have 
uh, Jetstream refill in our pilot pen. I'm using uh, my favorite of the Jetstream refills, which is this one, the SXR-10. And this is a 1.0 millimeter version of the Jetstream refill. Uh, it's a really phenomenal refill. And uh, if you like a wider ballpoint, but you want it super, super smooth, then uh, this is the refill you get. It's one of the, uh, it's one of the reasons a lot of people like the Jetstream refills, even though they're excellent, you know, in 0.5 and 0.7 and 0.38 uh, sizes. Like uh, across the board, they're good, but I think that one ditto, that was exceptional. And now I can get that and put it in the timeline, which is uh, a pen I really like, but I don't use it a lot because this, uh, this rollerball refill, I mean, it's a gel refill called a rollerball. It's super confusing. Anyway, this uh, BLGS refill is just really, it's just not that great. So now you could breathe new life into that timeline. The other pen that people have really uh, recommended using this mod for, and I definitely didn't know about this until I read it online, was this, this is called a Pilot Axiom. It's like a metal body Pilot. It sells for about 15, no, nah, more like 18, $20. Uh, it's available on Amazon, but it's not a pen people really talk about so much it's, it's all metal has a pretty nice click to it uh it, it's not really an exceptional pen it's kind of like the pilot g2 limited uh but the g2 limited has a nicer refill and it's a it's a nicer pen body so this axiom doesn't get a whole lot of attention at stock the axiom uses a refill like this it uses this brfn 10 same refill you would find in a doctor grip which is a pen that's like half the price. The good news is this piece has a wide nose cone, unlike uh, the, the uh, wood ones, which you could see back there, they don't have that. So the Axiom can accommodate a, the wide front piece or collar or whatever from the jet stream. And this mod or whatever is a little more challenging to do because you have to replace the spring. Not a big deal. Just get the jet stream string and put it in there. That's easy. And now with this one though, you have to play with the length. So before the refill that we cut down to size was the same length as the refill it was replacing. That's not the case with the Axiom. Here, the jet stream refill has to be a little bit longer than the Axiom. So you could see right here, it's uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, four millimeters longer, something like that. It's, uh, yeah, I don't know. If you need a reference point, it's down to a little bit past the dot. So it's a little bit longer and that's because this refill is wide. So it goes up to here, in here, and it stops. There's a spring here, you can see it bouncing. Uh, and it stops at some point right here. It just stops, right? The jet stream is narrow enough that it doesn't stop. There must be some sort of aperture or hole here. So you have to make the jet stream refill a little bit longer than the, uh, the stock refill. It's not a big deal. It's just that, you know, the first thing I did when I did this uh, was trying to figure out how this works and really deconstruct what people were doing with the Axiom and the jet stream was I cut it down to size and it turns out it was way too short. So the jet stream just extends further into the pen, not a big deal. Uh, the other thing I would say is that when you're adjusting the size of your jet stream refills, make sure it's really smooth on the top. I think a lot of people will get, be tempted to get a pair of, uh, of pliers and just cut this and just shear it. That will also pinch this and have a little pieces extend. Uh, but this needs to, turn freely inside the pen body or more or less freely. So what you wanna do is you wanna get it and get a sharp knife and just saw it off. And then if you wanna kind of sand it down a little bit, you can do that. And that'll make it relatively smooth on the top. And the, uh, the action of the pen when it's pushing up and down and also twisting it will, will work. So uh, just to save you a little bit of headache you know, I think everyone would have figured it out eventually, but uh, it'll save everyone from blowing through a brand new jet stream refill, which is pretty annoying. If that the whole point of the mod is to use a jet stream refill, and then you're you're wasting one or two as you get this going. 
I will say that with the Axiom, uh, I haven't been able to get the click quite perfect. It's good, but it's not as perfect as it was straight from the factory. And it's good, and it's right. I cut it a little bit short. I just, I don't know, I like these a little bit short when I cut them down. It lets me remind, it reminds me that, uh, you know, I made the change and it, took, it certainly works, but uh, the click is a little bit muddied and to get it to actuate, if you're having problems, just push it down all the way, push it a little bit harder and it's totally fine. Anyway, that is a rather long-winded and probably deeper than most people needed explanation on how you use your gesturing re refills in two pilot pens. It'll work in a bunch of other pilot pens. I just, uh, these are what I had handy and what I was the happiest with the results of. So that should pretty much cover it. Thanks for watching.